Hey, what's up guys, Camp and Rusher here. It's update night. Now, I got no face cam. It's actually my wife's birthday weekend. She's actually sleeping right beside me. So we're <laughs> we're quiet, we're tired, we got the deep voice going. Tons of new cosmetics, tons of new items, and even some map changes, some teasers for our mid-season update coming soon. We're gonna start off with new weapons, new items. I got all of them in front of you at once. Waterbending Mythic, this is attached to Korra. I don't know if this is dropped yet, but just to give you an idea of what, what's coming here. Use water bending ice technique to hurl sharp projectiles at opponents. Also grants passive healing when in water. I like this one too. Banana of the gods. A forbidden delicacy reserved for the Olympians. Restores health over time and increases sprint speed and jump height. Again, don't know if this one's going to be in game. Downtime's still going on. And then of course, the return of the hand cannon. There might be some slight changes to hand cannon. Keep in mind, mods will be usable on this. I'm so excited for this to enter. I think it's the perfect time. Everyone was hoping it would 200 headshot, but I think the gold one here here, the max damage it's going to do is 169 headshot. I'm still happy it's here. And then finally, we've known this has been in the files, getting ready for us for a while. Midas's drum gun makes its return. The mythic version. It's here. It's ready. They've also buffed the drum gun. I've got the stats in front of you right now. Fire rates increased by 2.5%. This is for all rarities. And then damage has increased as well for all the rarities. You can see the numbers there. You're basically getting one extra damage point per bullet. I haven't been using the drum gun personally since the start of the season. Maybe this buff gives it a spot in the loadout. Let me know down below after you give it a shot. Okay, we're going right into the skins with the release of Midas's drum gun. We've also got a huge upgrade in styles to the Midas skin. We've got the ascendant version of him and then he's also got a reactivity thing here built in. Every kill you get Midas is going to turn more gold. I think this skin just keeps getting better. It might be the best Midas skin they've released yet. And of course, we've got the super styles. I think they've done such a good job with these. They went with Artemis. They went with Hades. They went with Zeus. I think the trend continues. Hades is my favorite. This made the skin even better. I'll show you one style on each skin, and then you can take a peek here at all of them at once. Of course, go do some browsing in game afterwards. I'll leave those up on your screen for a little bit. And all of the the Korra cosmetics are now decrypted. We've got to look at a new style, a couple loading screens here, and then Shina actually uploaded a little video here so we can see every cosmetic. Here it is. And it doesn't stop there. We've got Guardians of the Galaxy, brand new bundle. People are all over the place on this one. I think Drax is the main debate. He just, I don't know if they did him justice. I'm showing you a couple in-game looks. I like the other skins. Young Adult Groot looks good. Mantis looks good. They just, <laughs> I just think Drax, I don't know. Something's a little off with him. A couple other skins here. I don't have names in front of me but I'm gonna scroll through. Of course, expect to see all these skins dropping over the next couple of weeks. I think they, they've got some good ones here. The remake of the Oro skin is, is probably my favorite out of this batch. Two more there in front of you, and then I believe this is our Nike collab and scrolling through all the different variants. Let me know your favorite out of all these skins. I think there's a bunch of mid, a couple good ones, and then a few I'm just not gonna touch, but that's how it goes. They can't get it right on every single drop, of course. And then we move to our Lego styles. There's a bunch of new Lego styles. I'm focusing first on new foundation and visitor Lego styles. We've got five more of the seven left to go. We're gonna end up getting all these guys as Lego styles eventually. They're, they're fan favorites, they're popular. I think they look good. 
And then I've got, like I said, there's a lot of them. So showing all of them in front of you, I'll keep them on your screen for a little bit there. Of course, if you own these skins, you get the Lego styles for free. They're just gonna keep adding more Lego styles as we go on. I think with the release of Lego Creative, we know Lego is sticking around for the long haul. So if your favorite skin doesn't have a Lego style yet, don't be worried, it's coming. And then good news and bad news here. We've got the full Kratos bundle, but nothing has changed. It's been updated, basically means the Kratos bundle is gonna return soon, including the pickaxe, but young Kratos, all that, the things we were talking about, the theories that we're coming up with, it's not happening, at least at this point. But Kratos is returning. So bittersweet, we don't have a release date on this, I would assume in the next couple weeks, but they've got it ready to go. And then FNBR Intel here has given us a quick clip for all the new emotes, I'll play that for you. And then a couple more, a couple big ones here to end off the video. First, Fortnite is working on an electric fuel type for vehicles. They're going full on Tesla electric car. I like that they're doing this. I don't know if this means there's gonna be separate vehicles that are only powered by electricity or if it's gonna be kind of a hybrid thing going on. We'll see what they end up doing. They've also got new rocket racing cosmetics. I know there's a few fans out there who play the rocket racing mode. The, the new car body I think looks really good. And they've also added a new type of cosmetic gating. This time it's for jam tracks. Here's the quote. This jam track contains lyrics that may not be suitable in all experiences. Only the instrumental loops will be available when jamming in islands rated 10 years or lower, not the lyrics. I think this is gonna be for every tune, it sounds like. Not that Epic is adding songs that have a bunch of curse words or whatever, but if an experience is rated 10 years or lower, I, they don't even wanna tread the line, risk it at all. So that's why you may not hear lyrics if you're playing certain game modes. And then the final piece for tonight's video is the first Aang teaser is now in game. And I think this is my favorite part of the update. It just seems they're putting a lot more work into building hype for things. This is for, I would say the release of the core skin, the, the styles coming out in the battle pass, but we also do have a mid season event, avatar event happening, mid event pass happening. It should be our next downtime update, maybe the one after, so two to four weeks from now, but they're building it up. And I think this is Charlie Wen's, part of Charlie Wen's vision. He's the guy who replaced Donald Mustard. There's more hype. There's more buildup and then they're delivering on it too. The content is there and it seems like we've got something new every week and it's gonna get, basically there's three stages of it. It's gonna be further away. We'll see it on the map far away. It'll move closer and closer. And then I assume right near the third stage is when the avatar event will begin. That's all I got you guys. Thanks for watching. Touch the like button, subscribe, take care, talk soon. Goodbye.